little ringmaster standing in the middle of my big top. So I've just made myself some extruder discs and I'm going to, <laughs> these are going to be the ringmaster's trousers. to put this little ringmaster together so I want his trousers just attaching his red jacket and then in this little groove here I'm gonna have a little bit of white so it looks like his shirt Of prep work what I did yesterday is I just made a small block of this white soap how I made that was I took the actual mold that I'm going to be using for my big top and then I know I want some vertical stripes and to get the vertical stripes I'm gonna to have to use some embeds for them so what I did is rather than making a whole loaf this way and wasting a lot, I luckily worked out that two of my vertical stripes will fit across the width of the mould. So therefore I managed to just pour myself a nice thin load of soap, which I'm not really going to waste any of. So what to do is, is cut it in half pretty well that way at 3.7 centimetres and then cut it through the middle as well. And that will give me the stripes that I need for my little circus tent. Okay, there's the first one. So let's get our white stripes in. They should be the perfect length because I made them in this mould. So I just want to line them up. layer I'm going to be using red in quite a few areas so what I've done is I've colored all the oils that I need red all in one go and then I've poured off the colored oils for this section I'm using is raspberry lemonade from nature's garden so let's get that stirred in okay so let's get our mold okay so you can see I've sort of done lots of sort of shimming with this so hopefully this is going to stay put <laughs> at the moment but what I wanted to do is just get an initial pour in and let that set up 
Now, Raspberry Lemonade from Nature's Garden is, if you want a fragrance that you can do super long pours and everything with, it stays fluid for ages. It's a wonderful fragrance. It's going to take a little while to set up with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that and then... I will just release, once it's set, I will just release out those little shims that I've got. And I've decided what I'm going to do with the shims is I've got one of these really tiny weeny little moulds. So therefore I'm going to be doing some scrape layers and things like that as well. So I'm going to take the little shims and chop them all up because they're fragranced with raspberry lemonade as well. And make sort of like a terrazzo style soap in this mini mould as I go through. I've removed all my shims and as you can see this is quite well set up and it's not moving anymore which is good. I'm going to chop those up as I said and put them into like a little terrazzo soap. Can you see these bits? They're quite holy and things. What I did is I did scrape off the tops a bit to clean them but I deliberately didn't try and push this thicker soap into the holes. I'm going to have to do more red. I want a red layer across the whole of this so therefore at that point I will go back with fluid soap and fill that in. I've now made some more soap up, really quite fluid because I want this to go level and this is going to be the sand in the big top. So I've got golden shimmer here from Mike and Mama and I'm just going to drop that into the centre. Okay, you can get that nice and level. And then once again, I'm going to leave that to set up because I'm going to then gently place my ringmaster in there so he's a little bit into the sand, not standing right on the top of it. So I'm going to leave that to set up for a while. Remember our ying, ying master? Our ringmaster that we made yesterday. Let's just pop him in. Now he's a little bit wibbly wobbly. I don't want to try straightening him in and unbending him. I think that would do. As I said, he's not completely lined up. But that's okay, it doesn't matter if he's at one side of the door to the other side of the door. Now he's done that, I want to pour my next layer, which is going to be the barrier. So let me just quickly whip up some soap for that. Okay, so I'm hoping that that's going to be pretty level. So level wise, it should be fine because it's really fluid soap, but I'm hoping that it's going to be pretty level each side of the ringmaster. Again, put that away because that's going to take a while because it's so fluid. And you may think it's a complete pain thinking, oh God, these types of soaps take ages. And they do, to be honest, you know, a soap like this is going to take me pretty well all day to make, but it's not a problem because I do other things in between, like I'll make a, another soap at the same time or I'll have other things that I'll do while I'm waiting for these layers to set up. So I won't just stand around for half an hour going, hmm, isn't my soap set yet? So my yellow's nicely set up now. So I've made up some grey. Now, normally I'd use antique silver for my grey, but I don't have that available to me because it's not in my assessment for this fragrance. But I do have activated charcoal and I have TD. So there we go. <laughs> Make my own grey. Now I want to take this and pour it just to the top, level with those white stripes. spot on it might be a tiny bit lower but I think that will be fine okay so once again I'm gonna let that set up and then come back when that is set my grey's nicely set up now so I've made up my next batch of red and this is just gonna be a horizontal stripe sort of over the top of the vertical stripes and so I'm going to keep this quite fluid so it fills in these holes. 
Okay, so I'm just going to aim for those holes first of all. Let's give that a bang just in case there's any bubbles trapped. Okay, guess what time it is? Leave that to set up. Now obviously these things would be setting up if I got them up to a thicker trace, but I want these lines to be nice and flat without having to worry about scraping them. So pouring them at this thin crack trace will get me those nice flat lines. We've got that red set up now, so I've got a little bit more red, and this is gonna be one of the stripes on the roof. So I've actually blended this to a much thicker trace. because so I need to actually get this to pile up and obviously if it's as thin as it normally is, it would just run all over the surface. So I've made myself a little scraper. To be honest, I don't need a proper scraper, just a little slit out of a, a card would be fine. And I'm just going to use this to help me, it's probably a bit runny at the moment. And on this first pass, I'm trying, or on any of the passes, I don't want to really damage the layer be below. So I'm just being a little bit careful and probably not scraping as low as I could because all I'm just trying to do is get this into a rough shape. like this it's very easy to scrape it while it's still quite wet and then what you don't realize is it sort of slumps down a bit so that's why you keep seeing me go over and then refilling and go over and, and gradually as this thickens up it will hold its shape better so I'm just going to leave that for a few minutes like that and then hopefully just be able to give it a final scrape through with the roof with a white stripe and then another red stripe so I'm probably just going to put this to music or something because you've seen the process already but let's go with our white
And if you're wondering about that other little soap that I made from the bits that I scraped out, and remember those leftover little shims and that, this is it. <laughs> it's come out quite cute. So not bad for just, as I said, just little loft leftovers. I did have to make this pink top layer up because all my scrapings and everything that I had only took me up to this high. So I just made the little pink bit at the top just to finish it off. So there we go. That's that used up from the scrapings of that soap. Here we are with our circus soap the next day the second one in our circus collection and this is our big top isn't it so let's have a look at what we've got in here Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. Quite excited about this one. A little bit nervous, but quite excited. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> he's coming out really cute. Oh, that stripe's a little bit wonky, but that's looking pretty cool. Let's have a look at some others. Our ringmaster's leant over a little bit, but I think that's okay. It's almost like he's sort of saying, come on in, or talking to the crowd, that sort of thing. So that's... And here's a final photo of the soap. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you like the soap. If you do, it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see what I'm making in the future, why not subscribe to my channel? Thanks for watching everyone. Happy soaping.